Create Modbus Device. This is the target setup for Modbus Device. So far you have added the onboard IOs on the PXC4 and a room unit on the TXIO module. Now we will configure the damper actuator GDB111.1E over Modbus RTU from Siemens. Please note that the slave address of the device is set to 1. Here is some important information about the device from its datasheet. It is important to note the communication parameters to set up the network and the device accurately. We are going to add two data points for this device which are highlighted here. It is also important to note the register parameters that are needed to create these data points. Hence, it is now summarized in this table. Please make a note of it. There is one more important parameter to be considered. The scaling factor determines the slope and intercept. Let's see how to find this information. These are the parameters you see in the datasheet of a device. To translate this information in terms of the properties of a data point you can refer the X, Y diagram. These are the properties you will see in the tool to set. The process values Y1 and Y2 can be taken from the range. The input or output X1 is 0 and X2 is to be calculated and M is the scaling factor. And from this formula we can calculate the value of X2 which in this case comes to 10,000. Let's see the demo. I have renamed the plant to my plant. And now we can navigate to the Modbus task. The first step is to create a Modbus network. The network type is RTU. I will keep the network name to default. The bode rate can be selected from here. Now the parity and the stop bits can be set. Click on OK to add this network. This number in the brackets show the total number of data points to ensure that the limits are not crossed. We can now add a device. You can also use the context menu. Enter a name and description for the device. The slave address is 1. The communication settings can be inherited from the network or set as device specific. In our case it can be inherited from the network. Click on OK. The properties of this device can be changed if required. Let's add the data points now. Choose the object type and enter the name and description. Choose the right unit and function code. The data type is U16B and the register address is 1. The data point is added and you can see the change in the number here. Now we will add another data point as per the table. For the inputs you can also set the polling timer here. We can check the properties of these data points and modify the process and input-output value for the correct scaling factor. The scaling factor for both these data points is 0.01 and as per the calculation the input or output value 2 should be 10,000. Hence, set these values. You are at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.